Welcome back to your Cyber Minute, our top line digest of significant cybersecurity developments. My name is Harriet Pearson. I'm a partner at Hogan Lovells, and I'm joined by my colleague, Jeff Lolly, managing principal of Hogan Lovells Cyber Risk Services, our in-house technical cybersecurity consultancy. Our topic today is ransomware. Jeff, in 2016, we saw an explosion of ransomware attacks. Do you expect it to continue in 2017? In 2016, we saw payouts to cyber criminals in the hundreds of millions of dollars in response to ransomware, and we see no change in that occurring in 2017. So it will continue to pose a challenge. What does a, a ransomware attack look like? With a typical ransomware attack, you, you might see something like a phishing email that's responded to, and, and the, uh, that email might encrypt the information that's on the company's networks, and the cyber criminals then hold that information hostage. What are the actions companies should take now to safeguard or mitigate the risk of a ransomware attack? Well, to be prepared for a ransomware attack, you need policies and procedures in place to ensure that you have backups of that information available so you don't have to pay the ransom. And if you do get in a situation where you might have to consider paying the ransom, you need to have procedures in place for making that decision. So a decision as to whether or not to pay ransom, similar to how companies have extortion or kidnapping policies in place in the, in the more physical world, is, is what you're saying? Indeed. It's a very similar situation. A serious threat, to be sure. For more information on this and other cybersecurity topics, please visit hoganlovells.com slash ready, set, respond. Thank you for joining.